Businesses create strategic plans for different areas, such as production, marketing, and finances. So why not also create a strategic plan when you outsource your sales function to independent manufacturer's reps? MANA is the association that helps professional reps and their manufacturer partners develop long-term, mutually profitable relationships. We designed this presentation to help manufacturers and service providers that are newer to outsourcing the sales function create a plan that takes them to this desired destination. Think of a plan as a tool that takes you from where you are today to where you want to be in the future. It's like using mapping software. You plug in your starting location and destination and then get step-by-step -step directions on what to do. Without a plan, how do you know you will get to where you want to be? Same applies when you set up a rep network. Without a well-thought-out plan, how do you know you will achieve the desired results? A plan also keeps you focused. In your plan, you set up criteria for creating a list of prospective manufacturer's representatives. This criteria, for example, keeps you from contacting a highly professional manufacturer's rep who unfortunately doesn't necessarily focus on the right customers for your products or services. So, let's get started on creating a plan for you. Where do you start? Start by taking a good hard look at your current situation. The most effective way to do this is to perform a situation analysis. Start by listing your strengths. For example, if your company has a proven track record and excellent reputation with customers, that would be listed as a strength. If, on the other hand, you are brand new to outsourcing your sales to independent manufacturer's reps, then you list this as a weakness. What opportunities do you see out in the marketplace? Did your company create a brand new line of unique products? That's definitely an opportunity. Does the fact that more and more companies are bringing back manufacturing after offshoring create an opportunity? Put that on the list. What about threats? Are your competitors coming out with new and unique products or services? That's certainly a big threat. We refer to this as a SWOT analysis. When you do your SWOT analysis, be brutally honest with yourself. Don't overestimate your strengths or minimize your weaknesses. That leads you astray. Same for the opportunities and threats. When you create the action plans, you design them to capitalize on your strengths and to overcome your weaknesses. You want to create a mission statement for your project. Define the markets you want to sell into. In many cases, companies can sell into multiple markets that may require multiple manufacturer's reps in the same geographic territory. For example, when I had my rep business, I represented a solenoid valve manufacturer and sold into the nuclear power generating industry. That company had another manufacturer's rep that sold into the exact same geographic territory, but they sold into the aerospace industry. So, define those markets in your mission statement. You want to list the products and services you want the reps to sell into each of your markets. Finally, what makes you unique? Do you have technology no one else offers? You want to differentiate your company from your competitors. A well-defined mission statement helps you market your company as a high-quality company, the type that the really professional manufacturer's rep wants to represent and who will sell more for you than those with lower professional levels. Next, you create a vision statement. In the GPS analogy I mentioned earlier, this is your destination, your desired situation. List your long-term strategic objectives and desired end state. For example, would you consider long-term and mutually profitable relationships with all of your manufacturer's reps a desired end state? Your vision should also have a date attached to it, a date by which time you achieve the vision. As you will learn later, these plans are a work in progress and should be reviewed and revised on at least an annual basis. The vision statement should include specific quantifiable goals, such as the desired sales volume. Another quantifiable target is the number of manufacturers' rep companies you plan on working with to adequately cover the territory. You will also want to look internally to make sure you provide staff to adequately support the manufacturer's rep network. 
Now that you have a mission and a vision statement, we want to talk about the strategic principles prior to working on the action plans. First, capitalize on all the strengths you listed. Did you list that your company has a long history of successfully working with independent manufacturer's reps? That's definitely a strength you want to capitalize on. The second principle is that you want to eliminate or minimize your weaknesses. If you listed the fact that you are new to managing an outsourced sales force and lack knowledge or experience, one way to eliminate this weakness is to learn effective ways to partner with your manufacturer's reps. Commit to accessing educational resources that help minimize this weakness. The fact you are watching this presentation indicates you already started the process. Well done! You want to capitalize on the opportunities you identified. That's principle number three. Make sure when you introduce that new line of unique products that you market it well and provide the outsourced sales force with the training and support they will need to pioneer the new offerings and grow the business. Principle number four tells you to track and plan for any identified potential threats. What backup plans do you have in place that you can implement if the threat turns into reality? Now we're ready to define the strategic areas that will be the focus of the action plans you create. The first strategic area deals with the manufacturer's rep selection process. How do you plan to create lists of prospective manufacturer's reps to contact? How do you plan to conduct the interview process? When you interview a manufacturer's rep, it's similar to interviewing a key executive for your business. At the end of the process, you want to make sure you selected the right candidate, the one with the potential to sell more than the others you interviewed, and who will still be with you years down the road. Download the MANA Selecting the Right Representative or Principal Partner Special Report in the Member Area of the website. Click on the blue box that says Steps to Being a Quality Principal. Then on Step 2, Selecting the Right Manufacturer's Rep. You can also find it in the blue box that says Resources by Type, and then in Special Reports and Publications. This guide takes you through the interview process so you end up with the right reps. Once you decide on a particular candidate, you need to negotiate a fair and balanced agreement, one that works for both of you. While you may have a great corporate attorney, if that person lacks knowledge and experience about outsourcing the sales function, they may create an agreement that does a great job for you, but fails in adequately addressing the manufacturer's rep's interest. Those agreements never work, so make sure the attorney you use knows about manufacturer's reps. You can download a list of MANA member attorneys knowledgeable about the manufacturer's rep business by clicking on MANA List of Rep Savvy Attorneys in the member area of the website under the Legal and Consulting section. You can also download MANA's Manual for the Creation of a Rep Principal Agreement. Go to the member area of the MANA website and click on Contract Guidelines under the Legal and Consulting heading then on Manual for the Creation of a Rep Principal Agreement. You also need to adequately train your new partners, not only on the products or services you provide, but also on how to conduct business with your company. They will need to meet and get to know the key people on your staff they interact with. Don't forget to include those in the accounting department responsible for sending commission checks. Also, plan on training your staff on the differences between how they interacted with direct sales employees and how they should interact with professional manufacturer's reps. Another area that requires your attention is how you will partner with your manufacturer's reps once the agreement is in place and they start selling for you. For example, you may want to consider creating a rep council. We suggest you learn about rep councils by downloading the Open Doors by Building an Effective Rep Council Special Report. Log in to the member area of the MANA website and you will find it either in the Steps to Being a Quality Principal or Resources by Type button. Finally, we recommend you also create plans for a continuing educational program on how to improve the way you work with manufacturer's reps. The more they perceive you as a quality principal, the more you become their emotional favorite. Please check out the steps to being a quality principal program we created specifically to help you achieve emotional favorite status. 
When you achieve emotional favorite status with a rep, they spend more time selling your products, and that results in more profits for both of you. Now, we are ready to create the actual plan. A completed business plan contains all these elements. We discussed just about all of them with the exception of the executive summary. Even though the executive summary appears first, you actually write it last. As the title says, it's a summary of everything that follows. You can download a sample plan by logging into the member area of the website. Look for it either in the Steps to Being a Quality Principal Program or Resources by Type sections under MANA Educational Videos and Podcasts. So, don't wait. Get started right away. Nothing happens until you do something. And beware of the three Ps, perfection, procrastination, and paralysis. Don't try and create the perfect plan. A plan is a work in progress. In actuality, you never finish it. Just do it. Call the MANA office if you have any questions about creating a plan. We are here to help you create a successful relationship with your manufacturer's reps and would welcome an opportunity to assist you. Thank you for participating, and we hope you found this presentation helpful.